All new at 5, a high school in Connecticut. Getting rid of midterms and finals and replacing the tests with something else. It is happening at the largest high school in the state. I would assume reporter Marcus Solis in Danbury with why the school says it's going to help students. This is the largest high school in the state of Connecticut. But that's not the only thing that sets Danbury High School apart. Starting next year, there will be no midterm exams, no final exams. No kidding. That's good. That's good stuff. That's two weeks of non-misery. The district says too many hours of valuable instruction time are lost to preparing for and administering tests, not to mention the time spent by students cramming for exams. They leave and they end up. I got an 85 and instructions over. Administrators say a better approach is project-based learning, assignments that require research and presentations. That, they say, more accurately reflects knowledge of subject matter. The teacher is able to diagnose at a very deep level where that student is currently prescriptive feedback. The Board of Education is set to vote next week. The measure is expected to pass. Most, but not all, parents are in favor of the change that would go into effect in September. I think the kids study a little harder, you know, get ready for like college ways like you're gonna be when you're in college you know and I just don't understand why they're doing it there's ways to test kids and to do assessments that are just much more effective than these bubble tests and they won me over so I'm, I'm glad Danbury will be the first school district in Connecticut to eliminate midterms and finals but it won't be the last other school boards have already expressed interest in following suit in Danbury Marcus Solis Channel 7 Eyewitness News